everybody, I'm Jim McFrain, and in this video I am teaching you six top things that an actor learns best. Before I begin, don't forget to like and subscribe, join the Jim McFrain corner, and let's begin, okay? So, the first thing that, uh, that an actor learns best is that um, the only way to like truly build confidence is by facing up to your fear. It's hard, yes, and I've, I've got this down by here, look. Courage isn't a matter of not being frightened. It's about being afraid and doing what you have to do anyway from the third doctor in Planet of the Daleks, okay? Anyway, yes, it's hard, okay, but uh, I would know, right? 99% of the time, people want you to be successful. I don't know the hard way. Like, when you're in presentations and you stand up in front of the whole class, everyone's looking at you, you're scared, you know, you're frightened up, tense up. As soon as you talk, you know, your voice track, voice crack, whatever, um, and you, it's, everyone laughs and then... That's what really sets you off, right? So, um, the only way that you can truly be, like, confident is just doing what you have to do, get get over and done with, and then look back on it. It feels good, right? Second, right? Second point. This is probably the, the biggest one, okay? If you don't, like, remember to do something vital, then you're in trouble. Like, for example, if you forgot to do a chore or a job, right? Then no problem, possibly a minor punishment, but if you forget a line on stage when you're in front of, you know, a massive audience and you don't um, like make it up as you go out on the spot, kind of what I'm doing here, then, um, well, you're screwed, aren't you, basically? <laughs> it doesn't feel good, you know. I, I can remember one time, it was about a couple of years ago, I was, um, we, we were doing a show based around World War Two, right, and, um, well, me and, me and my friend actually forgot some of the lines during the singing part and oh, I felt horrible. Nobody noticed though because we were just mouth like certain things during during the line that we'd forgotten but then the next day we made sure to learn it for the next time. So also if you forget your script then you are doomed for the rest of that session of practice you know and imagine being the only one to forget their script. It feels horrible right. Anyway next point. <clears throat> You learn to prioritise, like, do I go on my phone, or do I learn these lines by tomorrow? I mean, some people w would choose the phone and then get stuck, or they would just procrastinate and then they'd struggle to learn their lines, basically, right? Anyway, next, you learn to socialise, and to be honest, right, it's kind of your job as an actor to socialise with strangers, if you think about it. I mean, if you're awkward, like me, right, you tend to either be really close to people, or you don't talk to them at all, right? In conversations, right, I'm either the centre of attention or in the corner wanting to go home, <laughs> barely making a noise. There's no in-between, okay? As an actor, I'd say I'm centre of attention, right? I love the attention. But as real life, Jamie, right, I'm quiet to most people, unless I know you. Then I'm quite loud and I have a good time and I'm very childish. Those that know me in real life, you'll know that I'm very childish. Okay, next, you also learn to be creative. Like, do you need to walk through a door in your improv? Ask a mate in your team to act out the door, you know, just like... Something like that, okay? But um, when you grab the handle, make sure you don't grab the knob, right? They'll, they'll make a squeaking noise for a squeaky door. It helps with problem solving and uh, planning ahead and even timing stuff correctly. Okay, and the final point that I'm going to talk to you about is... Um, you know when you're uh, you're on camera, like I am now, or like if you if for some lucky reason you are in an advert or a film or TV show, right? There's a reason that some actors don't watch the TV shows that they're in. It's because they don't like watching themselves on camera. I'm one of these kind of kinds of people. Once I've uploaded a video, I have to watch a video to make sure it's okay. But then after that, I don't watch a video again, right? Because I don't don't like looking at myself on camera. But I do enjoy doing it, if you know what I mean. That's why some people are, are uh, how do you explain it, less motivated to want to start YouTube, right? Because uh, they don't like the way that they look on camera. And uh, I, I completely uh, agree and see where they're coming from with that. But um, you just got, you just got to get past it, like I mentioned with the first point. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day. Don't forget to drink hot chocolate. And join the Jamify Corner. Goodbye.